How do I start one of these videos? Uh. So, what's good, guys? <laughs> I. I don't know how to start one of these videos. This this uh movie review. Hold on, wait. Let me clap my hands. Shit. Movie review. Ooh, movie review. Oh, can you tell what movie it is from from the thing on my head? <laughs> from the mask, the poorly drawn mask that I took two minutes out of my life to make just for this one video that will get only like ten views, and nine of them will be from people that I forced to watch. <laughs> Anyway, I am back from my vacation, and I gotta tell you, oh no, what did I, what was it, what am I doing, I don't know what I'm doing, okay, um, so anyway, during my vacation, I saw Scream 6, now, I'm gonna be real with you, okay, I am not like the biggest fan of Scream. I, I'm not like in that fandom, whatever. I think the killer is cool. I love the voice. I love the whole, uh, what's your favorite scary movie thing. Love all that. Okay. But I don't care for the films. The most I know about the screen movies is from the scary movie. You, you know what I'm saying? The parody of it. Yeah. So I've recently got into the screen movies like last year or two years ago. And so I went to see the new one. <sighs> and it was filled with, you know, millennial jokes in the beginning. So, okay, I have a YouTube channel. This, this is basically why I'm making this video. I can complain now about things that I don't know or don't care about. So, in the beginning, bro, like, nine people watching me. <sighs> in the beginning, there was a part. And for some reason, it just made, it took me to Coco Melon. My brain immediately just went into Coco Melon, okay? Like, you're gonna think I'm stupid for this. I think I'm stupid for this. I don't know. I don't know why my brain just did this. There was a part where in the beginning they got killed, all that stuff. Oh, spoiler warning. How many minutes are we in? It's like two minutes in. I don't care. Spoiler warning. I might spoil. I don't know. I am dumb. I don't know how to phrase things. So in the beginning, someone dies, you know, because it's a scary movie. So uh, someone dies, yeah? And then the killer, Ghostface, he goes, now I see something red, and my brain for some reason just went Coco Melon, and I just I don't know that joke wasn't funny to me. I was just like, shut, sir. It was a cool kill. Shut the hell. Shut up. Okay, so I'm just gonna this is gonna be a short video. I just there's just one part that I honestly want to complain about. Honestly, for realsies, there's this character. Okay, I forgot her name. Let me put a picture right here. Okay, this character right here is just. It, it's crazy okay in the movie spoiler warning this character got stabbed in the arm or i think she got slashed not stabbed so she got slashed in her arm right and she acted like she was dying like she was just like ah screaming all over the place crying screaming just just my arm ah, and i'm like Girl, you got slashed. Now, the other one that was with her got cut. Like, she got stabbed, and it went up the gut. And I was like, I don't know how your guts ain't falling out right now. It looked kind of deep. He pulled up. It's crazy. But this one's out here. You crying because you got slashed in your arm. The adrenaline should be kicking in, and you should be just eating that cut. Like, I'll worry about it later. No. She's just like, oh, I'm losing a lot of blood. I'm like, what about the other one? It ain't about you right now. You put a band-aid on that later, okay? Maybe it's just me, but I feel like anyone would tank that cut if they were going through what they were going through. You know what I'm saying? The other one was just sitting there chill like, ah, my guts are falling out, but you know, at least I didn't get cut in the arm. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I mean, she was still doing work, you know? Like, she was holding the desk and everything. But it's just like, shut up. She's out here she was turning pale and all that. And I'm like, yo, I'd never seen someone just start dying from an arm cut. Your shoulder got slashed. Chill out. Anyway, she might have needed stitches. But then in the next scene, right? The very next scene after the hospital and all that stuff, she's carrying around a purse on the arm that got cut. And I'm like, hey, wait a minute. 
you know, movie logic and all, sure. She didn't have a bandage on it. She didn't have nothing. You know she has stitches. They need to stop texting me while I'm complaining. So anyway. <laughs> she was carrying a bag. People were leaning on her arms. Not one out. None of that. Just, I guess, the plot had to move on, I guess. But, you know, Angie says I focus too much on, like, the parts that don't make sense. And, you know, maybe, maybe I do. But that's my problem. And now I have a YouTube channel. So now it's your problem because I'm going to complain about it. So anyway, how was she doing all that, right? So mind you, she was dying from that arm cut. Next thing you know, later on in the movie, she gets stabbed in the gut, in the stomach. On the train, she gets stabbed, okay? She gets stabbed so hard that I'm like, oh, she is dead. She's done because they get, they die immediately. She got slashed in the arm and was dying. She's dead for sure now. She got stabbed in the stomach, and the guy drags it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, dragged it up. And I'm just like, oh, she's done for for sure. She is not going to be in the next movie. She's done. Like, you can't get saved after that. You're done. Especially, you're on the train. You're not getting emergency help right now. You were dying from your arm cut. No. Tell me how she healed. I'll give her seven hours, okay? She healed within seven fucking hours now i have a lot of questions tyler and matt tyler gillett and matt what's your last name sir hold on you're that bettelini tortellini i got questions for you how if she was in the hospital how the hell in the very next scene they were literally just saying how we have to see if she pulled through. This bitch was at the last scene and was like, I have to go see my brother. Don't even get me started on the brother. All right, core four and all, but come on, man. I don't even think I'll survive. I'll be like, oh, that's three times too many. You got stabbed, bro. Like they, they took their aggression out on you and you got up and said, core four. Now I ain't think so, bro. That's the heaviest plot armor. I hear anime protagonist or something, but I like him, so I ain't gonna say nothing. Now the sister is a whole different story, cause she got, she got, almost gutted, and she recovered within seven hours. Okay, seven hours. It was nighttime when she got gutted, almost, and then it was morning, and she was running about nonchalant. She even put a crop top. They did not show. They were smart. Tyler, uh, uh, Matt, y'all was smart. Y'all didn't show her running up to us. Y'all showed her back and the side. Y'all didn't. She had a crop top. I was like, yo, let me see your belly button. Because that shit's elongated. You, you, you shit go all the way up to your chest now. Because there ain't no way. She should not have been in that scene. They were like, oh, we got to see her at the hospital. She was already there. She was taking another trip back to the hospital uh, in the ambulance with her brother. Like, she was fine. She was just like, nothing happened last night. I don't know what you guys are talking about. They put a band-aid on me. I healed up. Like, I don't know what kind of medicine they got over there. Like, y'all insurance that good? It didn't take four days for them to, like, you were just in the hospital and out like that? Did they staple her stomach back and just sent her on her merry way? Like, I don't get it. How was she moving? How was she in the last scene? Anyway, so if anyone has seen the movie and uh, knows what I'm talking about, leave your comments. Leave a comment, please. Please, I'm begging you. It's been bothering me since I've seen the damn movie. Please, please. I saw it like two days ago, and for two days, I haven't been able to stop talking about it or thinking about it. Please, I am begging you. Matt, Tyler, if you guys want to elaborate on this, I am more than happy. I will hear you out. I, I, I need something. I need something. Closure? I don't know. I need something. Please, somebody help me. Somebody. I am begging you. I. Someone. How was she in the last scene? Okay? It, it was also, it was so obvious who the killers were. I knew it from the moment I saw... <sighs> the, the, yeah, I just... And then there was a moment where the whore called the main character a whore. And I was just like, 
Ah, <laughs> ah.